Okay, so we just did demand, and so now we're going to do a quick lesson on supply. Supply is, the principles of supply are very similar to the principles of demand in terms of changes in movement. Um, the law of supply itself says the, as prices increase, then the quantity supplied will increase. So it's the opposite in terms of where it's going graphically. If demand is from the consumer's perspective, supply is from a, a producer's perspective. So as prices go up, producers are willing to supply more. Obviously, if, if, um, if they can supply goods for way more than they'd like to, then they would want to supply more. For instance, Toyota would love to supply Camrys for $100,000 per car rather than $25,000 per car. So the higher the price, the more quantity they're willing to supply. Similarly, uh, the lower the price, the lower they're willing, the quantity they're willing to supply. Okay? And you can see that in the supply schedule. For instance, um, at a price of five, they'll supply five. But at a price of two, they'll only want to supply two. And you can see that, this supply schedule, up here on this graph, right? You can see on the x-axis again is quantity, and on the y-axis is price. And you just plot the points, one dollar, one dollar, two, two, and you can see it's, it's um, upward sloping, right? So it has an increasing slope of supply, and you know the demand has a decreasing slope, it's downward sloping. So um, this is what a supply curve would look like. And obviously a demand curve is going to be going in this direction. So whichever, wherever they meet is called the equilibrium. And then the equilibrium price, you bring that out, you could say P sub E for P equilibrium, which would be, you know, like $3.75. And the quantity sub E, or uh, equilibrium, would be, you know, 3.5 units of whatever you're selling or whatever the product is. But supply is upward sloping. Demand is downward sloping. Now, can there be a change in quantity supply? Yes. For instance, for the same thing in change in demand, or sorry, change in quantity demanded, it's movement along the curve. So movement along the supply curve happens because of a change in price. Change in quantity supplied moves along the curve only when there's a change in price. So if we're at $1, we're right here. They'll supply one unit. But if they go up to $4, they'll be happy to supply four units. It's moved along the curve. They change in quantity supplied. But can they also have a change in supply? Can the graph actually, can the curve actually shift? Right? Remember, an increase in supply will be to the right, a decrease in supply would be to the left. And here are the reasons why supply would actually change or shift. Number one would be an a change in the number of producers. If there's a lot more producers, will it shift to the right or left? S sub one or S sub two? It will shift to F sub one. There are more producers. If there are less producers or companies in an area, then it will shift to the left, right? S sub two. Um, more technology. Um, increases in technology make increases in technology make uh, make goods easier to make. You make them more quickly. So um, if we get, for instance, a, a, a bunch of computers in an area that didn't have technology before, we can be more productive. The graph would move from S which direction? S of one, all right? Um, similarly, input costs. When businesses, there are differences. There's, there's price, and that's what, it, what a, a product would sell for, and the cost, that's what it costs to make a good. And the difference, obviously, would be profit between price and cost. So if they can reduce their cost, what goes into making the good, well, that will change supply. For instance, if uh, you make cars and the price of plastics and steel go down, then you can supply more cars because it costs less to make a car. If the price of steel and plastics go up, well then you're going to go to S sub 2 because it's more expensive to supply cars, so you'll supply less of them. And so it doesn't move along the curve, it shifts, right? Um, so that would be a change in input cost, changes in productivity. Productivity, uh, its formula is outputs over inputs. So if we become more productive or more efficient, then we can supply at a higher level. If um, the company becomes less efficient, then they would supply at a lower level, so we shift to the left. Better productivity, better efficiency, means shift to the right. 
less efficiency or less productivity would be in a shift to the left. There's also another one that's sort of part of productivity, and that's something called human capital. Human capital is education and training. For instance, if as a nation we become more uh, educated, then as a nation we can supply more of our goods because we can produce them more efficiently. If we're trained better, then we, then we, uh, we work more efficiently, so we can go to S sub 1. That's why it's important for the government to make sure people are educated because um, that will increase the amount of supply that our economy can produce. It will expand our economy, right? It will expand our production possibilities curve, essentially. And that is analogous at some level to supply, although not 100% in this case. Um, so that's supply. Make sure you know the difference between change in supply, change in quantity supply along the curve, or change in supply, which is the shift in the curve, right? Is increase, left is decrease. Okay? Um, and we know that where supply and demand meet is the equilibrium point. All right? And so we're going to talk about shortages and um, surpluses next, and then we're going to get into elasticity. So uh, be sure that you're looking at these in order of you know, production possibilities and opportunity costs, then demand, then supply, shortage and surpluses, and then we'll get into um, you know, with price ceilings and price floors, and then we'll get into um, elasticity. So um, make sure you understand why the graphs would shift and in which direction they would shift, and what a reason was the only reason why it would shift along the curve would be a change in price. So, that is our uh, quick on, uh, sort of going over of supply. If you have questions, make sure you, you ask um, or rewind this and you can watch it again.